Hey guys, Jeff here. I uh, am making this video today to show a head itch hinge boring machine. Um, a lot of people call it uh, a cabinet borer, a cabinet drill, hinge drill, hinge borer, hinge boring machine, hinge drilling machine, anything like that. Um, that's what this is. So basically what it does is it provides uh, a couple functions. It both drills and inserts the hinges. Um, and so what you end up uh, doing here is uh, it's pneumatically controlled. Um, it's not a manual. You see a lot of manual ones like a drill press where it's got a handle that you like crank the thing down. This one actually operates pneumatically off of these two buttons. Um, and the only thing that this is, uh, is missing, this is actually in phenomenal shape. I just went through, I did all the maintenance on it. I replaced all the lines with brand new lines. Um, this is six millimeter uh, brand new line and then uh, new SMC fittings. I believe it's SMC. Um, but at any rate, they're high quality fittings. Um, the only thing that this doesn't have is the table that it came with. It comes with like a foot and a half, two foot wide, really small table. Uh, most people like to mount these underneath a bench. Um, a custom made bench, a lot like a cabinet shop will with like say a radial arm saw or a, uh, a miter saw. You know, it's, it, it might have a table that comes with it, but you really want your own so that you have a lot of table surface. So when you're sliding uh, cabinet doors up under it, you know, you can just take them off a stack, slide them right under. So what I've got today um, is uh, I've got two pieces of wood. I just made a uh, one small hole and it'll go a lot deeper than this. I'm just going to come back behind the camera here. Yeah, there we go. Um, so you can see that. It makes that pattern, that three-hole pattern. I have it set to just go very, very shallow right now. Um, I'm going to flip it over and we're going to make another, uh, another drill spot here on the back side. But I'm in the middle of my family room right now, so I'm not going to create a whole ton of dust. Um, I just work in the middle of my family room. Yeah, big shock, I'm single. Um, anyway, uh, so basically what I've got is two pieces of three-quarter inch uh, plywood scrap and uh, I'm going to show the way it works. The bottom piece of plywood would be just like if there was a table underneath it um, and the top one is going to be our work piece. So the way that you do it is uh, the first operation is going to be uh, you drill with the bits under here and the second you would insert a hinge into this hinge holding feature here and then you take this handle, rotate it down and that will insert and I'll show you how to do that. Um, the other thing that I want to show, and you'll notice this, is there's an air mechanism. And so uh, after you're done drilling, when you release and it starts to come back up, it'll blow a shot of air out and, um, and it will uh, blow all the sawdust away. So what we have here is uh, two buttons. You're going to push this button very briefly once. And by the way, Hedich has a great video online that shows the operation and the maintenance of this. They show you how to take apart the uh, transmission block and lube all the gears. I just did that with uh, good quality medium grease, um, just like they instruct. I went through the whole thing. I cleaned it up. Um, you know, it was in good shape anyway, but I just wanted to do all the maintenance on it. Um, plus, I kind of enjoy doing that stuff. So, um, basically, uh, I would highly recommend watching that video. It's about like 14, 15 minutes, and it shows you all the, the functionality on it. But like they said here, uh, you just press this button momentarily and you're going to notice that these pneumatic rams will actually hold the workpiece down. Um, and they hold it really well. You're going to notice this is like a thousand pound snap-on box and I'm like rolling it around just grabbing this wood. Those things hold it down and they hold it down really firmly. It will not move. Um, and then the next operation you do, you just hold the button down and you're going to notice that it goes down just like a drill press into the wood, like so. Um, at any rate, uh, once you're done, you're going to press this release button and you'll notice the rams pop up. And then you can take the piece of wood out. Now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, set up this and we're going to flip it on. Um, I wanted to show you that without running the motor. The motor's a little bit louder, so I didn't know if you'd be able to hear me on the video. So. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and flip it on now. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything. Oh, yeah, and the last thing that I didn't show you here is the air regulator on the inlet. So you can actually adjust the air pressure. This operates at a lower pressure. Um, and so uh, that's got a regulator and a water trap for it right here. The airline comes in. And then it's got just a standard 220-volt uh, uh, single-phase plug. Um, you plug it in. I think it takes, like, 10 amps or something like that. It's not very much. 
Um, you know, you can run this on, on a drier circuit. You could run it on any, any 240 volt single phase circuit. Um, the, the last thing I want to explain is it's got a, a magnetic starter on it. This is very European. This is a German made machine. Um, so it's super high quality. Um, but they do a few things different. Um, it's got a starter, much like a car. It's got an off position, a run position, and a start position, and it's spring-loaded between the, the start and the run positions. So you flip it from off to past the, the run to start, it'll start the motor, you release it, and it springs back to run, just like in a car switch, and then when you want to turn it off, you move it to the off position. Um, so. We've got the piece of wood in, and I'm just going to drill a quick little test hole here so you can see that it uh, works. And you'll notice the motor starts right up. There we go. Now the pneumatic rams hold it down. And if you notice, let me flip that off real quick so you can hear me. Um, if you'll notice, all the sawdust is gone because as it went down, it blew a shot of air out um, out of that, that, that clear hole there. Then the next thing you would do, um, even with the motor still running, and, uh, is to insert a hinge here. You flip this down, go down, and it'll install the hinge. And, uh, and then you just hit the release button, the yellow one right here. It'll release it, and there you go. And you've got your, your holes drilled. I'm going to show this to you. And uh, again, you can set the depth on this as deep as you want. Um, you do that with this adjusting screw back here. I have it set super shallow because I don't want just a ton of sawdust all over my family room that I gotta clean up. Um, so anyway, that is my uh, head itch hinge boring machine. Hope you enjoyed the video, take care.